Hello everyone and welcome again to my GCSE revision uh, channel. Today, in this particular video, I'm going to be talking about how to get six out of six on every six mark question. I try to say that slowly because some people, a number of people actually think it's not possible to get six out of six on every six mark question. It was about a year or two ago that I realized that some students had this fear because I just used to teach my students and prepare them to tackle every SISMAT question in a way that they actually get six or five. And if it's in a very, uh, in a very tight situation where they could not actually remember so much or so many of the information they needed, how to get four. I then realized that a number of students were not actually thinking they could get six out of six. So last year, I came up with these seven tips that will help a student to answer six, uh, six, uh, every six mark question and achieve six out of six. That is in biology, in physics, and in chemistry. So what I intend to do, I, have already, I already did a, a live uh, video on Facebook and on Instagram about two weeks ago but a lot of people have been saying they cannot find that video uh, they cannot watch it so I thought you know what I'll just quickly do it again the first thing the very first thing that you need to remember is you must read the question sometimes some people would think why do I emphasize that because in 21 years of teaching I can assure you one of the major problems that I have found with young people is they don't read the question they come out of the exam I try and um, talk to them about it and then they look at the question and they go oh uh, I, I should have got I, I should have got five out of six or six out of six or I should have actually answered that question properly and I say to them so why did you not do it? They go, Miss, I've done it again. I forgot to read the question. So I just encourage them and say, you must always read the question. So that's why for me, that is number one. Read the question. So number one is read the question. And when I say read the question, for six mark question, I put there twice. Yes, read the question twice. The first time, when you read the question, just read it really quickly through to get a general view of what they're talking about. Then the second time, you take your pen and you underline the keywords. As you read, underline the keywords. If, for instance, they're asking you a question about immunization, how it affects children, or how immunity is affected, words like that, immunization, affected, just underline as many words as possible. Because those are the words that will enable you understand what they require you to do. The second thing you need to do after that is to check out or look out for the command words. By the way, these two go together. Because when you're reading it and underlining the keywords, you're actually looking out for the exam command words. Still, I put it on its own as number two, because these exam command words would guide you into how to arrange your questions. The first one, you understand the question, you know what they want you to do. The second one, when I say um, I am understand or uh, highlight, I'll say highlight or note, highlight or note, the command words <clears throat> this would enable you structure your response so when i say command words i mean have they asked you to explain have they asked you to state advantages and disadvantages for example have they asked you to compare and contrast have they asked you to describe those are the key words. Those are the exam command words that you want to look out for, right? So these are the things you highlight or you take note of when you're reading through. And the third thing you want to do is a quick plan. A quick plan. So you want to label or you want to um, bullet, do a quick bullet point on the side of what you're going to do, how you're going to answer the question. Are you going to draw a table? 
How many columns are you going to have? Are you going to draw a diagram? Say you're asked a question about the cell. Do you want to do a quick sketch of the cell? Remember, that's the nucleus, that's the cytoplasm. I, how are you going to do it? That is your quick plan. So you must have a quick plan as the third thing you must do. Now, it's important because when you have your quick plan, with the quick plan, you'll be able to draft a very quick start to your answer. I always say to students, do not start answering straight away. On the side of the space provided for you to write the answer, draft a start. Draft a start or an opening sentence. So number four, draft an opening sentence. And here I will say, you can use some of the ex from the question words that have been uh, used to ask the question. You can use it to start. So that sets you off and you're ready to go. Then just before you start to answer the question, do a quick review of your ideas. Review of your ideas. Now, when we talk about it like so, it would look as if it's a long process. Trust me, the, when you practice this as you're revising on the day of the exam, it'll probably just take you two minutes or less to quickly do this. Honestly, it would. It's really, it's so important that you do it because if you don't do it, you might not, you might just get two out of six and you don't want that, or you might just skip and think, oh, I can't do this. But by following these steps, you relax. It makes you to relax and begin to understand what the examiner is looking for in that particular question. And then for number six, I'm going to say, remember, remember your scientific concept because you have score, you have marks for that specifically, scientific concepts and how you are explaining them. I just used immunization, for example. If you want to quickly explain what immunity is or uh, what immunization is, they will, it would show that you understand what the science behind the question or the answer you're providing actually is. So remember your scientific uh, concept and then for number six, you then write and then and then write your answer. If I just quickly go to review your ideas, when you do your review of your ideas, you can help you to reorder them. So I'll pop there, review and reorder. Review ideas and reorder them. Say for instance, you've written out, uh, when you did your little plan, you just wrote down everything that came into your head. You might then realize that before you start to write your answer, you need to rearrange your points. If you did not have a sketch, if you did not go through this method, you'll be stuck in the middle. And sometimes when the examiner looks, looks at your answer, they might feel, or he or she might feel, you haven't put it in the right order and there is no proper sequence and your work is not coherent. You want to have that uh, a, 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 a seam, seamless coherence in your ideas when you present them. That's very good for gain six out of six. And lastly, you need to do a quick read through. Do a quick reading through of your work, read through what you've written, and then you're good to leave that as it is and go to the next question. Just to further help you, if you have any particular SISMA question you would like me to look at, pop it in the comment box and I will do everything to make sure I get back to you within 24 hours with the answer that you do require. I have one which I'll be posting tomorrow. Uh, it was a question regarding uh, the DNA uh, protein synthesis that I looked at in my last video, someone said I should look at it from the perspective of the OCR 21st century um, exam board. I have pulled up the specification and tonight I'm going to look at that and tomorrow, Monday, or actually today now, uh, Monday the 16th, I'll pop that onto my uh, channel so that if you want to have a look as well, you can have a look. And finally, if you have any uh, six mark questions you have answered and you want me to check them, if you can't put them on the system here, I'll leave my email address. This is my email address. You can send it to me via email. Please, when you send it to the email, if you do me a favor and just write a comment in the comment box because I check this every day um, to let me know you sent an email. So send the email to Gladys. A D E L E Y E at gmail.com. 
if you send me uh, the uh, six mark question you want me to treat or the one you've already answered if you want me to look for a simple way you can remember it all for me to check it i'll be more i'm more than willing to do that so what i'm gonna do this i'm, I'm calling this video one of two the next video i'm gonna pop up straight away is an actual six mark question from the aqa exam board see you in that video and keep revising and keep keeping positive. God bless you.